Okay, um, video number two, uh, the people. I don't know what this picture signifies, but it's a sweater. I'm sure some company won a lot of money for it, which I didn't have. Um, grew up poor and really didn't know how to handle money. But what you're all waiting for is um, the year, the pictures. Okay. Let's see if I can get this without the glare. Okay, I think I've got a handle on this. Uh, how I can do this without the glare. There's Renee Belovich, probably one of the prettiest girls in high school. Really smart and really nice personality. Um, didn't know anybody there. Avril Bliss. She was in one of my classes, but I don't remember her. Donna Billig, Patty Black, I don't remember any of those. There's my friend Frankie Books. He was my uh, childhood friend when I was 5, 6, and 7 until I moved to Georgia when I was 10 years old. Uh, Jimmy Boyle went out with my sister Gina. Real nice guy. I see on Facebook he has uh, reproduced several times and is quite happy with his children. Okay, here is people I didn't know well. Mike Butts uh, was a nice guy. I knew, I think he uh, grew very large in high school and was a success on the football team and uh, always was uh, a nice guy. Um, Luis Cluel, one of the hotties. Okay, still is. Okay, has a nice family down there in Allentown area. Uh, her husband is in the construction business. And so if you're looking for somebody to build a house for you, look her up on Facebook and uh, uh, get her husband to build you a house because I'm sure he's a nice guy too. Kevin Conahan was an interesting person, uh, very funny, um, but not clownish, but always in a, uh, a really dignified way. And then uh, three young, beautiful ladies that I did not know very well. So here they are for all you guys that had crushes on these girls when they were young. All right. Here is Bob Dieter on the right. Uh, he lived across the street from me, and we were kind of good friends in high school. Uh, I don't know uh, who the good-looking young woman Julianne Dickman is. Uh, it's funny how... Okay, Dorothy DeGilio, I remember I could have had her confused with somebody else. Um, more people I did not know. Uh, Rich Dopira, Veronica Dominic. I have very fond memories of Veronica and her sister Cheryl uh, growing up. Uh, Veronica, I think, runs uh, some sort of resort down there by Sladington. Uh, it's like a air, it's like a restaurant, uh, resort or whatever. And I haven't seen or heard anything from Cheryl in a long time. Uh, but anyhow, uh, Veronica is doing very well. She has a nice family. I believe she has a, a beautiful young daughter and, uh, they're doing very well. Okay. Here is Chris Dover. Okay. All the guys love Chris Dover. And uh, I don't know these. Arthur Eikhoff used to have parties in his house down in White Bear. Paul Eikhoff, his cousin. Now I see that they look the sa they kind of look the same. Okay, I didn't know they were related, uh, but you can definitely see the resemblance between Artie and Paul. Paul is my good friend, and he's married to Kathy Mastretta, and they live down there with their beautiful family in South Carolina. Uh, Paul was in the Marines for 20 years and keeping America safe from terrorists and all sorts of things. There is Jackie Evans, uh, who I told you married Mark Holland, and they're living and quite happy down there by Sladington. Uh, D Danny Farrell, uh, I told you, is a very successful executive in a, a company somewhere. Uh, Jimmy Faust, I ran to him. He won a million dollars, okay, on a scratch-off and is just still being Jimmy Faust. He has not changed one single bit, okay? 
Uh, great guy. Uh, good friends with Paul Eikhoff. I think he was in the Marines as well. And I have vague memories of Sandy Folk, uh, but I can't really say anything other than she was a pretty young woman too, as well as Teresa Fedock. All right, let's see. I didn't know who Jimmy Folk was. Michael Galgochi. Uh, I think his... Eh, I could have him mixed up with somebody else. James Gallagher. Patty Gallagher. Uh, get a better picture of her for all the guys that had crushes on her. Uh, there she is. Beautiful young lady. Uh, Francine Gusick is still a beautiful young lady. Okay. Uh, got into bodybuilding and... Had an unfortunate accident uh, not too long ago, but let's all say prayers for her and hope she uh, rehabs well and is back uh, to normal. Lori Gardner, I ran into her uh, after high school. She was going to school in Ohio, I believe, and was going to become a lawyer. And Karen Garrett, I don't know Karen Garrett. Bobby Graver on the right there. He is like a major in the army or something like that or was and um lives in alaska or, or something doing something very exciting uh very um interesting person who i ran into while i was a river guide and threw a beer bottle out my window i'm still mad at him about that but still he's still a great guy and uh he uh understood when i said we shouldn't litter <laughs> okay uh joey gogol is out west somewhere, I think, okay? Um, very nice young guy. Um, and I'm sure he's uh, doing very well wherever he's at. I see him on Facebook a lot and posting pictures uh, about the things that he loves most, which is other men, okay, in bikinis, in Speedos, with muscles. James Gagnac, I don't really remember him, okay? And... The woman in the middle, you'll recognize she's all over this face, this yearbook, Bonnie Hager. Okay, got those big, beautiful eyes. Uh, I always liked her, as you can tell, I guess. Uh, Donald Gribble, I didn't know him very much, but I beat him a couple times in wrestling, so, ha. Uh, Murray, Mary Hijack. Let's see, David Hawk, there he is, okay. And Jane Heffelfinger, who is now Jane Owens. She lives in Allentown. I run into her and go biking with her and her friends. Uh, really nice girl. Uh, very smart. And um, anyhow, blah, blah, blah. She's really happy that she has a short name instead of a really long name. Joan Heffelfinger. Oh, here we go. This is a good time to go over to Heffelfingers. These Heffelfingers aren't related, which is really funny, okay? Um, maybe the cousin somewhere way, way back. Uh, Reggie Heffelfinger and Joan Heffelfinger. I didn't really know them that well. Uh, there is Jeannie Heyer. Uh, like I said, um, tall, beautiful woman in her class. Really interesting. Uh, Bob Hoban was a very, uh, funny guy. Still is. Um, not sure where he's at, but I'm trying to think of who he married. Uh, he married somebody from our high school, I believe, and um, he was a really funny guy. He used to do great impressions of Punker McHugh. Okay, here we are. There's Patty Holt. I think I had her confused with somebody else. Okay, there's Mark Holland. He is married to Jackie Evans. Okay, although I think on Facebook there's one L in the name, so I could be... I could have that wrong. Maybe it's a different Mark Holland. Uh, maybe they spelled it wrong in the yearbook. Okay, there's Marie Horvath. She was in my French class. I uh, always liked her, and she always had those soft, fuzzy sweaters. Patty Holt is living in South Florida. She had a career in law enforcement uh, and teaching kids about drugs and guns. And takes care of animals on her farm somewhere in southern Florida. Really great girl. Uh, glad to hear she's doing well. Okay, there is me in my green jacket. Uh, probably the only nice clothes I had. 
uh, Sharon Jacobs. Sharon Jacobs was a really uh, energetic girl, okay, and funny and witty, okay. Garth Jones, uh, he was kind of witty too, uh, but I didn't know him that well. Chrissy Kane uh, worked in Jim Thorpe uh, for the borough uh, in the unemployment office. Uh, really beautiful girl. Uh, always liked her. Great girl. Uh, David Kasperzak, who I mentioned before. Okay. Now, here we go with Joni Kaczynski, a beautiful woman. I saw a picture of me and her going to Paul Eickhoff's wedding. And I was surprised that I was in the company of such a beautiful young lady. Really lucky. Uh, thank you, Joni, for uh, being nice to me and allowing me to escort you to that function. Linda Krabs. Uh, here's a close-up for all you guys. I had crushes on these girls. I'm sure lots of guys did because they all look very beautiful. Okay, Joe Lawrence. I'm going to say he was on the golf team. And that's my go-to thing for when I don't know what they did. Uh, and Margaret Lang, I don't know her, but she looks pretty. And this girl, Victoria Macaluso, I keep getting her mixed up with Ann McCready for some reason. Uh, there's Danny Long, played Penn State football. And there's my good friend, Larry LaSella, who has um, a nice house down there in White Bear. Uh, with a, uh, he's very Italian, into Italian cooking. He's a very good cook and a very social guy uh, who loves to eat well and drink good wine and is very into being Italian. All right, there's a picture of David Masenka. Great guy, really fun-loving. I think he was on the football team as well. Uh, for being a football star, he was really a sweet guy. Okay, very nice personality. I don't know the girls, but I'm sure lots of guys had crushes on them. So there you are, a nice close-up of those uh, hotties. Okay, and there's my friend Lyle Montz, uh, who was in my friend's class. A really funny guy. Uh, married his high school sweetheart, and they have uh, lots of grandkids. And I believe he worked for uh, Lucent down there in Allentown. Had a nice career, retired, and... Uh, a musician, and I'm sure he's living happily ever after with his girlfriend, Andrea. There is John Moraziak, who we call Toot. Okay, I never knew his real name. Now we know now. There is Pam Maurer, a very good-looking young woman with a nice hairdo there. And Timmy Maurer, uh, all the ladies loved him. He had a car. Uh, he was very... Uh, he was a real Romeo, that guy. So all the women loved that guy. And uh, uh, he's selling cars for Kovach down there in Neskahoney last time I ran into him. Uh, Charlie McAvoy, I remember, I feel sorry for him because he was a, a football star, a running back who kept getting concussions. And um, I was always surprised that they were saying uh, one more concussion and he has to stop playing. I think... On the first concussion, they should take you out. Okay. Anyhow, my parents, I remember Charlie because my parents stopped me from playing football uh, because I was too small and they uh, said, don't do it because uh, you'll get hurt and we don't want you to grow up and uh, with these injuries that you'll have forever. So, Charlie, I hope you uh, healed well and uh, stayed away from those footballs uh, when you got older. Maureen McConnell, always loved her. She was in my French class. I loved to make her laugh. Uh, and there is Susan McCrady. Oh, I, oh, we always called her Ann McCrady. She lived up the street from me. A really smart uh, young lady. Uh, very beautiful and very well dressed. Okay. There is my friend Maureen McGeehan. Very beautiful Irish redhead. Uh, and she comes from a great family that lived down there in White Bear. I went to, I was a Whitewater River Guide uh, at the time when her brothers were Whitewater River Guides. And the McGeeans still play, or the McGeeans are like a famous folk, folk singers, banjo players, fiddle players. Um, and uh, good to see Maureen McGee in there, okay? 
Okay, Eileen McLaughlin. Uh, here's the guy in the middle, Bruce McHugh. I don't know who he is, but he's a good-looking guy. I'm sure a lot of women have crushes on him. Uh, I remember Eileen McLaughlin. She hung out with me and Lisa Skimensky and Robin Stachina. And uh, we always had good times hanging out. One time, we all loved the hobbits and uh, wanted to go out in the woods and smoke pot and have a good time just like the hobbits did. Okay, Eloise McLaughlin, very beautiful woman. Um, I remember she went to grade school with me and um, I think she lived up by the bank, but a beautiful young lady. Um, always liked that girl. I was always jealous of Barry Canick who would draw her pictures of Winnie the Pooh in second grade and make her laugh and I really would have liked to have made her laugh. There's Angelo Meal. I'm sure a lot of ladies loved him. And this beautiful woman here is Carolyn Miller. There's a close-up for all you guys that had a crush on her when uh, you were in high school. Don Miller, she was cutie. There's Kathy Mistretta, my friend, who I love. Okay. Uh, Bill McGilski, who was on the golf team for real. I know he was on the golf team. And Brenda Morgan was a basketball star and won an award for making a whole bunch of baskets. Uh, nice girl, too. Very uh, well-adjusted and uh, capable of handling all the fame that she encountered. Okay, we're up to the ends. Okay, I don't know who James Nardozzi is, but I'm sure he was on the golf team. Okay, there's Lori Knightford. What a hottie. She was in... I don't know what class she was in, some sort of math class, but she was just such a sweet young girl. I'm sure all the guys loved her. And as well as Denise Nyan, uh, she was a beautiful young lady too. Um, I didn't know her that well, but she lived in the same town I lived in, which is in Summit Hill. Let's see, Gary Notstein, I don't remember him other than Mr. Zulik asking who was Jewish and... I never knew any Jewish people, and he was probably the first Jewish person I ever met. Jeannie Nowitzki, lots of guys loved her. Really good-looking girl, as well as Debbie Ogozolik, and I think she married uh, Larry Lasella, okay? And I think they got divorced, and she married somebody else. Uh, Sandy Ogozolik, another hottie all the guys loved. Really great picture there, Sandy. Uh, I've gone biking with and hiking with her. I've gone hiking with her and Jane Owens and Karen Johnson, who used to be Karen Pichelli, and uh, they, we all turned. They all are really great people. There is Elizabeth Olszewski. I always thought it was Janie Olszewski. Uh, anyhow, wherever she, wherever you are, Janie uh, or Elizabeth. I, could have it wrong. Maybe there's a Jane. Uh, maybe maybe not. But wherever you are, let us all know. We all want to know what you're doing. We heard your brother lives down there in Allentown, but you have disappeared somewhere out west. Here is John Orock. Nice bow tie there, John. Uh, I'm sure the women all loved him. There's a close-up. Look at those eyebrows, okay? Good-looking guy. And Teresa Pedora, another woman I'm sure all the guys loved. Uh, and had crashes on. There's a close-up of Teresa Pedora for all you guys that were in her fan club. Okay, Joanna Pavlis was in one of my classes. I can't remember. Barbara Pekka, Joseph Pensi, Benizi, Nadine Priscelli, okay, good friend in high school, uh, and a very funny and energetic woman and very strong-willed, okay? Beautiful girl. Okay, Bob Pollard, okay, I remember uh, hanging out with him in 11th and 12th grade and he really turned into be a creative and inquisitive person who was into experimenting with uh, gluing plastics together. Ann Perembo, uh, another good looking girl, here's a close up for all you guys that loved her, nice sweater there Ann. Um, I'm sure you're doing well wherever you are. Okay. 
Uh, Bob Prembo, good looking guy. Look at that smile. Uh, what can you say? There you go. For all the girls that loved him. And let me tell you something. Cheryl Praskak, you had the biggest fan club of all the women I know. Okay. We all loved you in grade school. You're really quiet and uh, well-mannered young lady. And I'm sure you're living happily ever after you found some nice guy and uh, or have a nice family down there wherever you're at. There's Rich Prabilla. He's on my Facebook friend list. And not Bill Price. But two good-looking guys, I'm sure they're doing well. Here's a close-up for all you girls that uh, love these fun young men. All right, here we're up to the R's. All right. Joe Radoka and Michael Radoka. I'm going to say they're twins. I think they have a plumbing and heating business here in Whitehaven. But I could have that wrong. Okay. Uh, but there you are, two well-dressed, good-looking guys with glasses and nice sh suits and ties. Okay, they know how to dress, so I'm sure the, the women love them. Uh, Lenny Rahatchik, I know his name because it's Lenny Rahatchik, like I didn't say Leonard. Okay, I know him somehow, but I can't remember. Look at this good-looking woman, Donna Rajevich. Uh, Rajevich, okay. Look at those eyes and that beautiful blonde hair or red hair or whatever it is. I'm sure all the guys loved her. So here's a close-up of Donna Rajevich, Rajevich for all you guys that uh, were in her fan club. Okay, Eddie Reistetter. Uh, he, um, I think he married a friend of mine uh, from, from high school. And uh, his family owned a supermarket. And I'm sure he was a really great guy, real good personality, very... Uh, easy going, uh, easy to talk to. Joe Rompalo, I'm going to say he was on the golf team. Donna Robata, I didn't even remember Donna Robata, but good looking girl. I like that sweater. It looks like the the high collars were very popular at that time. Um, Paula Roslavich, I didn't remember her, but very beautiful. Look at those eyes. Uh, Roxanne Rushneck, I remember her from grade school, and she lived in my hometown. Really beautiful, skinny girl. Uh, just, uh, very, I'm going to say very energetic, uh, but I can't really remember now because I'm so freaking old. There's James Sanchez, looking like he's uh, some um, hustle dancer from New York City. Uh, very interesting person, James. I hope you're you're doing well whenever you're wherever you're at. Uh, Timothy Schilling, he's on my Facebook page. I think he's out west. I could have it wrong. Uh, seems like a nice guy, he's doing well. Michael Schubeck, Paul Smith. Like I said, like look at all these names. Okay, Smith. There's Hart. There's no Smiths. There's uh, one Jones, I believe. Okay, not many people with us. Uh, English names, I guess you could say. Uh, Brenda Soul, Renee Spence. I didn't remember Brenda. Uh, I remember Renee's on my Facebook page now. I think it's Spence Reichert. Um, very uh, good at organizing groups of people to go out and do something. And I'm sure she's doing well wherever she's at. Joanne Stianci, like that shirt, like those glasses. You're looking good, girl. Okay, there's a close-up for all you guys that uh, had crushes on these girls. Okay. Uh, David Susco. Okay, good-looking guy. Ran into him. Uh, he had a problem with Toot, and now they're really good friends. Uh, he had to tell me all about it last time I ran into him. He's living up in Hazleton. Uh, he's married and uh, probably retired now. Jim Swanson. We always call him Swanee. Uh, I went to college with him up at Bloomsburg before I dropped out and joined the Air Force. Uh, and he stayed in and graduated. I'm sure he has a good job and is very successful today. Okay. Robin Stachina. Uh, there you go. That's a Panther Valley name. S-C-Z-C-C-Z. -C -C -C. Okay. There you go. Great girl. Very good looking. Uh, married my friend Tom McArdle. Uh, she was... Uh, she stole the, the, the Romeo of the classroom uh, with her good looks and personality. Okay, Ronald Swider. 
I didn't know your name was spelled like that. I was thought for sure it was S C H W, uh, but it's it just very simple S W I D E R. Uh, I didn't know him that well, but uh, I did run into him a couple times. Okay, let's see. Lisa Siminski, holy cow. Last time I ran into her was probably 30 years ago, but she had on this hot skirt and was selling real estate, and you just know she's a success today. Uh, probably living in the Virgin Islands somewhere in a giant uh, yacht off the coast of uh, St. Thomas. Jimmy T, I grew up with him. A uh, good friend from high school. I remember uh, he was a big hunter, and he loved to catch bobcats. I was kind of mad at him about that because I hardly ever seen any bobcats, and he was catching them and killing them. Okay, but still, great guy. Um, I think he has passed, though. Okay, so condolences to his family. Uh, we miss you, Jimmy T. Uh, Joe Tessitore, good-looking guy. There's a close-up for all you girls uh, that love this Italian, obviously Italian guy with that uh, nose and those uh, Gaelic eyes. Georgine Tier, what a beautiful girl. Nobody knows where she's at today. There's a close-up for all the guys that were in love with her. Okay, look at that face. A very tall, slender woman. A very elegant and intelligent. Uh, Diane Tucker, I, there, you know, good-looking girl. Very nice picture. Uh, my friend Nikki Vasilio, great heart. Nikki, we miss you. Uh, he has passed. Uh, he was a great guy. What a kind heart. Uh, grew up in a family of nine and was just uh, a real good friend and uh, a good father. And Nikki, we miss you very much. Okay. Uh, Frank Van Buren. I got to know him briefly in high school. He was very funny uh, and boisterous. Okay. Uh, a real German at heart, even though I never knew any Germans in high school, but I guess I did, Frank. Um, Celeste Velitsky and Marie Vance and Debbie Watkins, three very good-looking girls. There's some close-up pics for, for all you guys that uh, knew them and loved them. Okay, from afar, okay, as high school boys do. Okay, Bill Weaver. Okay, I had it wrong. I said Weaver before. It's Bill Weaver. Sally Wilden. Okay, this picture does not do you justice. You're such a good-looking girl. That hair was just awesome. Okay, I'm sure uh, all the boys still remember that uh, those long curly locks because it was just wild. Marie Whitehead. I don't know you, but you're a good-looking girl. Nice haircut. Uh, nice sweater. Apparently the, like once again, the Turtlenecks were very popular that year. Lisa Williams, holy cow, what a hottie. Yep. Uh, Amy White Knight, definitely a hottie. The, all the White Knight girls were uh, loved by all the boys. Um, not that they were promiscuous, but they were just good-looking girls and uh, very interesting. I do remember that she bit her fingernails, okay, and she was the first person I knew that ever bit her fingernails. Holy cow, we're up to the Y's and the Z's. Heidi Yurchak, okay, this picture does not do you justice. She was such a good-looking girl, okay. Uh, uh, Ara Lee Zellner, I don't know. I don't think we called her Ara Lee. Good-looking girl, uh, very shy, though, okay. And Mark Zuber, who... Uh, went out west. He was the football captain, quarterback, basketball star, all-around athlete, an honor roll student. Uh, I'm sure his dad is really proud of him. Uh, last I heard, he had moved out to Wyoming and was a hunting guide, uh, hunting caribou or uh, some other large animals out there in the Great West. And that does it for the yearbook. Uh, we'll go over the pictures here. Uh, here is a close-up of I don't know who because uh, I'm old and uh, the girl on the right looks like a movie star they all look like movie stars to me okay uh, there is Danny Farrell talking to I'm gonna say our teacher Danny looks like uh, 
who is that guy? John Travolta from uh, Saturday Night Fever. Okay, I never knew he looked so Italian until I got older. Okay, there is Francine Gusick, such a pretty girl, talking to, I don't know who. Uh, uh, I think there's a picture of the gymnasium. Uh, as always, uh, for all you guys that were in love with these girls, majorettes, okay, in their majorette uniforms. Uh, not sure who they are. I'm not sure who this guy is, but I think he went to Vote Tech uh, from the looks of the table with the vice grips, although we did have a shop class. There is somebody playing a horn. And who is this hottie? Well, she's a good looking girl, whoever she is. Uh, hope you're doing well wherever you are. And. There is a picture of some kids at Votech. I don't know who they are because they're all in disguise. And there's a picture of Sanchez, who is such a colorful character. Uh, he's probably in as many pictures as Bonnie Hager is. Uh, here is a picture of somebody that passed while we're going through grade school. Uh, I didn't know her. Maria Hunedi.